everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> this is just a real quick intro to apologize for missing two Fridays. It was because my concert was on Saturday. This is my concert DIYs that I did at the concert. This guy in my school and he the first thing I did was type up and print off what I wanted it to say. First, I will show you what I did wrong. And it started with me cutting out the letters using a razor. Now this works, but I noticed that when I cut them out with an X-Acto knife, they seemed to be a lot more crisp and didn't bleed as much as when I cut them out with a razor. So it does still work, it's just not as good in my opinion. Next, I didn't even have a sponge brush, so I literally just used a sponge to sponge it on, which made it bleed too. And if you look, I put nothing on the sides of the paper, so it got on the side of the shirt, which <laughs> did not look pretty. To top everything off, I looked up how to get fabric paint off of fabric, and it said to dab it with a cotton ball with nail polish or what's that other thing called uh, rubbing alcohol which I did and you know what happened it bled the letters that were already on it so do not do that please so now here's how to do it right and I used an exacto knife this time and yes you can use a razor if you don't have an exacto knife just as I said it's not as clean cut as then you need to iron the shirt to make sure it is as flat and smooth as possible. And here's another angle of me ironing, I guess. And I guess I thought you needed three different angles of me ironing. Next, I put papers on the side of the stencil I made, and I put the fabric paint on. And as you can see, I'm still using just regular sponge. It does work, but sponge brushes just make it more clean cut. I guess that's how I would say. me, come on, open me. For this next one, I sent some pictures into a local printing shop that printed them off, enlarged for pretty cheap and that's how I got the fat heads and then I just cut them out to start with and I know I'm cutting like around his shoulders but later on I just cut <laughs> around the face. Next I just traced around it onto some poster paper to make it more sturdy. Then I got these sticks at Home Depot and they're just stirring sticks and I painted them black to make them look nicer. As those dried, I glued the poster paper onto the fat head. For Miranda, since she had longer hair, what I did first was put the head down and then I took the little pieces of poster paper and kind of traced them out and glued those on separately so I wouldn't take up so much space on the poster paper. Then I taped all the sticks to the back of them and made sure I could hold them. Then I figured out which size googly eyes fit better and I glued them on and I'm not sure because they kept falling off and I didn't know how to make them stick but I just kept taping them back on every time they fell off at the concert so I'm not sure how to get them to stay. video comment who you ship me with anyways like if you liked it subscribe leave a comment on other band DIYs I should do I hope you guys enjoyed follow my social medias link below love you so much